Hello, Stephen, and thank you for your question. Most of the questions that you have in this big question is about the lead conversion mapping, and I will explain. So, first of all, in order for you to go to the lead conversion mapping, you will go to the modules and fields, and then you will over the leads, and then you will go to the lead conversion mapping. Now, question number one is how can you change the lead account contact and opportunity basically to be able to convert from the lead to something else? Now, if you're asking this question, you're probably not on the right track in terms of your CRM because the idea is that when new lead comes in, it will come as a lead and then the lead will be converted into a company, which is an account, a contact, which is a person, and the opportunity is the deal that you are working on. If you have any kind of other scenario, you will need to map it to this structure. And I know what you think, that it's impossible because the way that I want to do it, it's not like that. Believe me, every client that comes to us thinks that this is not the way, but we're doing it anyway. So it is the way. The account will be the company that you are going to serve. If you have no company that you work with, ignore the account. You don't need it. The contact will be a phone book. It will just be the person that you are going to work with. His first name, last name, phone number, email. Basically, that's it. Very basic information. The opportunity is where you will have the transaction itself. Now, if you have more stuff like property or any other information, that will not come in the lead process. It will come a little bit later. Usually we are using the lead as a place that we are qualifying if the person is a good match for you. And if he is, I will convert him into an opportunity and then build the property, bedrooms, and so on and so on. So that's question number one. Question number two is about how to map multiple layouts. Now, also here, I prefer that you will have no layouts. I prefer that you will have only one layout because once you have multiple layouts, it will be a nightmare to maintain the system. So I prefer that you have one layout with multiple pipelines. So on the lead side, you will have only one layout and type of deal, let's say buy, sell, landlord and rent. And whenever you are converting it to an opportunity or a deal, there you will have multiple pipelines and each pipeline will represent the buy, sell, landlord and rent. As for layout, if you still want to do it, I created here another layout for you. So if you click on the lead, you can select the layout that you are on and then you can select here the layout that you want to move the information to. And based on that, everything below will change. So the information below will change based, based on the layout that I am selecting here. Okay. Now, the last question that you had is if copy customization, basically copying one system to another. And let me show people that don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. So copy customization means that you can copy your system to another system. If copy customization will affect the way that you work with the system. And the answer is no. Once you're doing copy customization, the information is being copied 100% to another system. And from, from that moment on, the, the system is totally independent and have no connection to the previous system. If you have a vertical, which is a completely something else, a vertical will lock you down and you cannot do much. But copy customization, no problem. You are free to do whatever you want.